what's up? Uh, what's going on YouTube? Uh, today I'm gonna break down um, simply a uh, C major scale and the importance of the C major scale. Uh, as we know, the, the scale is pretty much kind of like your foundation or, or the key that you're in, and it kind of lets you know the limitations and the boundaries you have in order to um, play a certain song and let you know the keys of the certain chords that are in could be in that particular song by the scale. So the scale is kind of like our foundation of where we get our chords, all the different jazz chords, and things like that originate from the scale. So what I'm going to do is I'll break down the C major scale for you, and i also um, give you the formula how you can use the scale and put it in other keys, but right now we'll just stay within the key of C because it's more easy to visualize, so that's why I like to teach in C. Um, we'll start first with the C scale. Uh, it'll simply be C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And also with those scales are numbers. Uh, so numbers associated with each one of those notes. Uh, C being your one, D being your two, E being three, F being four, G being five, A being six, B being seven, and C being, you can either say eight or one. It, it's up to you, but it's, the only reason you can say one is because it's C, C. C to C is, it can be one, or you can say eight, whichever, you know, way help you better understand it. And with that is the certain fingering that you use with the scale uh, that's important because I like to do a lot of my scales when I'm warming up to play so I just don't jump in and kind of loosen up my fingers. So the uh, correct fingering you can do with those scales is simply your thumb on C, your index finger on D, your middle finger on E, your ring finger on F, Cross over when you get to the G, cross the thumb over. G, thumb, your thumb on G, rain finger on A, middle finger on B, and rain finger on C. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, forgive me, I'm sorry. I did that wrong, I'm sorry, I was thinking about another scale, I'm sorry. Your thumb is on C, D is your index finger. Your middle finger on E, cross over the F and put the thumb on F again. G is your index finger. A is your um, middle finger. B is your ring finger. And C is your pinky. And you walk it back down. And then cross your middle finger over to hit that E. Cross over when you come back down. Cross over the middle finger. Middle finger be on E. Index finger be on D. And you'll start back with your thumb on C. And the reason why the fingering is important is because if you want to do a run or something like that, you need correct fingering so you don't run out of finger. So just say if I do it uh, without the correct finger, this is how it might sound. Notice how it was a pause in there because I wasn't using the correct finger, but if I use the correct finger, it just kind of flows smooth. And you can tell, it, you know, I utilize my fingers right because it just transitions smooth instead of, you know, you can hear where it's kind of like some fumbling and things going on. And also with your left hand, it's the same thing, but it's just different. This time you'll use your, you'll start out with your pinky. Ring finger be D, your middle finger be E, your index finger be F, thumb will be G, then your on your A would be your your cross over your middle finger, index finger on B, 
C, your thumb, and then you walk it back down. C, your thumb, B, your index finger, middle finger is A, cross over your thumb, coming back down, G, F, your index finger, E, your uh, middle finger, D, your ring finger, and back to your pinky. And that's just a nice warm-up that you can do, too, when you're warming up with your... Just do your scales when you're warming up and you can simply go. And it might take, if you're a beginner, it might take you a little time to get used to it. So if you're a beginner, what I would just do is just start out maybe five or ten minutes and just do it with my right hand. And then another five or ten minutes do it with my left hand. And maybe spend five minutes trying to put it together. Because at first it, it seemed kind of weird because you got to get used to playing with both hands, so it seemed kind of weird to you at first. So I would just kind of start out like that and just kind of break it up in segments. Work on one hand for a few minutes, work on the next hand for a few minutes, then work trying to put it together. And it'll come <clears throat> to you the more you do it, and that's just a nice little warm-up you can do. Now, also, I would give you a formula to what you can do to use any major scale in any key, and I give you a formula. And the formula simply is a whole step and half step. And what I refer to as a whole step, that means if we're in the key of C, that means if, if I start on C and I say go a whole step up from C, I literally would go to D. Because what I'm doing when I say go up a whole step, you skip the note that's, that's next on top. You skip that note that's on top, which is a C sharp. You'll skip that note on top and simply go to the D because I went up a whole step. So I skip the C sharp and go to the D. Now, if I say go up a half step, then I would just simply use the um, note right next to uh, C, which would be C sharp. Because I just say just go up a half step. So I simply just go just go to C sharp. So that's one. Just remember when you say whole step, you skip a note. Half step, you use the note right next door. So the formula for a scale in any major scale is when it kills C. So the formula for that would be C would be um, a whole step, which would be D. Another whole step, which would be E. A half step. Remember I said half step is right next door, so that half step would be F. Another whole step, which is G. Another whole step, which is A. Another whole step, which is B. And then go a half step. So the formula for that is whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. And what you can, like, if you're writing this down, what you can do for whole step, just use a W. And for half, you just use an H. That way you don't have to write out the whole, 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 half, half. You don't have to do that. You can just simply just do that. And that work, and you can take that form, formula and apply it to any key, and that will give you your major scale in any key. I like say for instance, say we want to go use a C sharp major scale. So my form, I look at my piece of paper, my form, I go up a whole step. So if I'm on C sharp, a whole step would be E flat because I'm skipping the note that's next to it and going up to the next note, which is E flat. So it'll be whole E flat, then whole, which would be F. Half, remember use the note right next door. L sharp, whole, A flat, whole, B flat, whole, C, and half, which would be C sharp because it's right there, right next door. And that's the form you can use, and that's a C sharp major scale. And the same thing applies, you know, for the left hand. You just follow that formula, whole, whole, half. And that'll give you a um, major scale in any key. All right, I hope this helped.